Is it sound test time? Okay, TTC wild switches. Ignore the crooked pipe key. Whatever. TTC wild TTC wild switches. Luba GS2 in the Space 80 Apollo prototype. Xerox stabilizers filmed as well. So, first of all, first of all, first of all, I guess the, the actual question is what color Space 80 are we doing? What color Space 80 do you guys want to do today? Do you guys want cream, beige, whatever this is, cream, or, God, I got nowhere to put this. All of them? I can only do one, dude. Or the blue. The other black, well, the other black one and the other cream one will save for another day. The devastating TKL. I mean, I ordered one. I haven't, I haven't used it yet. Or, wait, wait, wait. The blue. Which one are we doing, chat? They call it ocean? Huh. So the one thing I will say, though, is the bottom of the Space City Apollo, very pretty. I have to admit. This is very pretty. This is super, super pretty, dude. The butt though, I mean like this big gray studios logo, perhaps I could do without, but I mean, it's on the, the rear end here. So oh, I'm not, you, I'm not like mad at it. Chris, thank you so much for your prime, dude. I fucking love you, dude. Thank you so much. If I can give you guys a little big hug, I would. I'm not mad at it, but I don't know if I would like it there. Brandon, thank you so much for a gifted tier one to zilch. I appreciate you, dude. Oh, thank you, dude. Looks nicer on vid. The pics don't really do it justice. I mean, that's the other thing, too. My cameras are actually pretty decent for this kind of stuff. But I will say this is really pretty. Oh, I like the you. weight. The weight looks really good. Janice, thank you so much. I appreciate you for the Prime for two months. Bob Ross of Keeb's about to make some happy little trees. I don't know. I maybe, maybe hope so. Okay, I also got some other little stuff with this. Oh, oh, I guess this is a brass one. I think. Would this look good with the blue? Rose gold. It actually does look a bit rose gold. Would this look good with the blue though? There is some like, I don't want to, dude, I feel like, I feel weird touching this. If you guys can see this, zoom in all the way. There is some like weird marks. I wonder if that'll just wipe away. You guys see that? I wonder if that'll just wipe. Remember, this is a proto. I don't know if this is indicative of like the final product, but I wonder if this would, this would look good with the, with the cream, huh? Wipe it. Let's try wiping it. Let me get a wipe. Let me get a cloth. The badge does look pretty nice. Better with the cream. Yeah, I think we'll save this one here for the cream. I think that blue badge looks way better. Oh, yeah, no. This is not coming off. Mm, actually, no. Oh, it's you, dude. slowly coming off, dude. Dopamine, thank you so much for your tier two escort in Apollo, and I can't wait for the upcoming build. Ooh, wait, did you get it from, like, the Chinese group buy? How did you get one? I saw a whole bunch of other people get one too. Have you tried turning it off and on again? No, it's not coming off. I mean, it slowly looks like it's coming off, but it's still there. It might be some sort of like just error in the PBD. Really pretty though. Jeez, did not know that was in this box. I'm gonna move this over here. All right, so there's a whole bunch of other stuff in this too. Like tons of stuff. So I need to kind of go through it all. This isn't for the space. This is for this is for the think, isn't it? These aren't for the Yeah, this is not. This is not for this. This is for the think. I don't know why I got these in the package. Alright, so here is a PC Ooh. So this is an aluminum one. This feels like it's aluminum. 
Okay. That's aluminum. Does the blue have markings too? No. The blue is completely clean. The blue is literally picture perfect. There's not even a speck on the blue. You got it second hand? Oh. This is... Is this another loop? This is confusing to me. Is this only half? Am I going crazy, chat? What's this for? The discount plate? Yeah, where's the TKL cluster? Interesting. So remember, we're doing this completely. No, it's not broken. I mean, I don't think it is. There's no other piece. It doesn't look broken either. It's completely okay. No, that was actually, it's it's rounded on the corners here. Um, S-Craft Artisans. Oh my goodness. There's some, this is just some silicone. Dude, the S-Craft stuff is really pretty, but I would not pay aftermarket for that. So there's just some silicone at the bottom. Perhaps we'll put this in. Give it a little go. Okay. So let's move this off to the side for now. Let me open up a drawer to lay this on. Here is a PCB. Plateless arrow. That'd be interesting, huh? B stock plate, perhaps. All right, here's a PCB. So again, guys, these are, this is a prototype. So I don't know if this is gonna be PCB looks good. I haven't tested this either. We'll test it before we start streaming. I'm literally opening this for the first time with all of you guys. At least the PCB isn't missing the cluster. Can you guys imagine if the PCB was only like half of this? Can you guys imagine? That'd be weird. That'd be definitely kind of strange, huh? Definitely kind of strange. No. To fill you guys in as well. I don't know if I can tell you guys this, but I'm gonna tell you guys anyways. As far as I know, this won't be for at least another month while Potter tries to fulfill the rest of the Fink 6.5s. So the Fink 6.5s is to, are, from what I understand as of learning this morning, those are taking priority right now. As they should be. So there's like a lot of little goodies in this package which we'll, we'll use today push what am I supposed to do with this hello push okay there's some like artisan thingy here we'll take a look at that closer here in a second um here are the gaskets so we'll take one of those out i'm just slowly going through everything guys it's going today guys it's going you need to pay extra for the cluster i hope not Oh, this is one of those. Okay, so that's the toolkit. I don't know if this is gonna come. Like usually with Gray Studios boards, they usually give you a tool. That is a hefty looking tool, dude. I don't know if this is titanium. I have literally zero idea. But this feels really smooth. This is definitely a step up from the other ones. Anyone know? Uh, any? Does anyone else have the seven tactile switches? I have them in this board. I don't have them in any other one too. The 7V Allen key feels like I got ripped off. I mean, Allen keys are pretty standard. Allen keys are pretty standard. It's just another screwdriver. Are these all PCBs? I know there's some plates here at the bottom. Okay. So I guess those were just test. Okay, here are the other plates. Here are the plates I was kind of expecting with this. Here we go. Oh, interesting. Okay, chat, look at this. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Interesting. Here's the FR4 plate. This is the plate, obviously, we're going to be using. Obviously, I'm not using the aluminum one. Not that it's bad, just not my preference, dude. Here is the plate. It's typical Grey Studio style. The inclusion of a looks like oh you can take this off it's just put in with these little 
Is this glued on? No, it's not glued on. This can be taken off, but we're going to leave it on. I want to use this. So I prefer FR4 because it, first of all, I like the sound profile of it. And I feel it's like less stiff than aluminum personally. So I typically tend to like that. What is this exactly? Interesting. I'll show you guys this closer later. Uh, well, he sent me an overpriced invoice, 100 euros more than the deal we made, and then blocked me right after. Oh, that sucks, Steelwin. Um, yeah, dude. Honestly, trading things... Can I be honest with you guys? If you guys can avoid... Like, I'm being dead serious about this, guys. Safety... Okay, let's have a quick conversation about something. This kind of goes to what we're talking about today, too. FR4 is woody it is. I don't know. It's... Just, I don't think this is actual copper, though. Is it? Or is it just some sort of, like... I don't know. Anyways. Quick little safety tip for buying, for selling, for making trades. We'll start off with buying things when it comes to other people. Invoice. Guys, don't use friends and family. Can I stress this? Can we all put it in chat? Don't use friends and family. Invoice. Pay the extra $2, $3, whatever it is. Invoice. Don't use friends and family. All right? Goods and services. Don't use friends and family, dude. When you're making trades, I got a good one. Unless you really trust the person, don't make trades. Don't do it. All right? You know how many people come to me with ripped off being, being, being uh, sorry, getting ripped off because of trades? Oh, dude. Don't do it, dude. And here's the other thing, too. Don't ship out something. If you guys are making the trade because you guys try, don't ship out something first. Months in advance. Come on. Okay. Uh, I don't get the public announcement. Don't use friends and family because you can't. If you guys use friends and family, you can't refund or attempt to contact PayPal if something goes wrong, if you're ripped off. So if, someone, if you use friends and family, this has happened to people I know, to buy this tight, I don't know, this screwdriver for $15, let's just say, whatever, whatever the trade is. You use friends and family and they ship you an Allen key instead. Guess what? You can't use, you have no protection via PayPal. Don't do it. Okay, read everything first. Ask for details in the invoice as well. The more details, the better. This is like, you know. <clears throat> also, if you don't trust a group buy runner, don't buy from the group buy. Don't take the chance. If you guys don't trust it, don't take your chance for it. All right? Simple as that. So it looks like they gave us some optional foam as well for the aluminum, which we're not going to use. We're going to use this from here today. Are you guys okay if I use FR4 versus aluminum? Okay, we're cool with FR4. Cool, dude. All right, let's open this thing up. So I've never opened this either. Let's use this new screwdriver. Why not? Yeah, let's use FR4. Why do I prefer FR4? I like the sound signature and I also, also like the feel of it better. I always feel like, even though this is still technically like, it's not as, you can see it can bend a little bit. This is not as stiff as aluminum, which I kind of like. The back is dope. I really like the back of this, yeah. Ooh, this feels hefty, dude. Do these come with it? I wonder. This feels nice. So it looks like if it does come with this, that's pretty pog, dude. Oh, this is a nice screwdriver, dude. I always get more hyped when I do a Grey Studios thing over the screwdrivers that come with it and accessories than anything else, dude. I swear to God. So here's the inside. So it looks like we can actually even put the gaskets in the inside of the case, which is nice. I'm sorry, dopamine. But otherwise, pretty nice inside here. I don't see any weird anno, but I've never seen any anno issues come out of Grey Studios. So it looks like we have a piece of silicone here to diffuse things. Let's zoom in a bit. And this is a removable badge, which we don't think we have any extra badges to try today. Otherwise, here, we'll kind of like do this too. Eh, wrong way. Otherwise, pretty good. Do you guys see anything you guys don't like? Here, I'll show you guys this side. 
pretty good. I think this is actually pretty decent. Uh, can you show the uh, the logo above the arrows again? Yeah. So we'll see how this lights up. I have no idea. Here's the inside of this. So there's, there's that big polycarbonate piece. I'm assuming this is polycarb. Feels like polycarb. That is a big polycarbonate piece. If it is, I don't know why it doesn't want to focus. There we go. That is a big polycarbonate piece, dude. Damn. Pretty nice. So the badge is removable. You can even take this piece off. I'm not sure why you do that at all. Interesting. Very cool. I guess that silicone piece would go in the bottom if we want to put that, which we might. We can try it with and without. And there's the bottom again. But yeah, this is way better than that other one that we had. Some fingerprints from me. Okay. Cool, cool. Very cool. to see those TTC switches. They're really nice, dude. We're going to be putting these switches. Why is there a yellow keycap on them? These switches. These beautiful TTC wild switches inside. I think it's going to be pretty awesome. Pretty big pog. to go with the FFF switches and these are gorgeous these are from desk hero these are the ones to go with the FFF switches and I really really liked these ones okay you got a what camera what's going on with you huh what's going on with you go back to center focus there we go so these are like um these are really pretty I really like these stabs but these are really nice those are V1 Duroc. Yeah, they're V1 Durocs. Honestly, though, I've never popped a stab wire in my entire goddamn life. So, I don't mind.
I know these are prototypes, so I don't know if this is going to be indicative of the final run. However, I still think it's fair to note that the stab cutouts... Um, the second icky build had to be my favorite. These switches are actually really smooth. These are really smooth switches. I will say that I quite enjoy these TTC Wild switches. And by the way, if you guys want some soldering tips, make it like a three or four second rule, okay? You put it down, you push the solder into the side, it starts to heat up, and then you can literally just push it in. After you're done pushing in, let it sit for like half a second to a second, it'll make a pyramid. Put less, you don't need to put too much. You can always put more if you feel like you need more to kind of make your cone. That is the best tip I can tell you guys. Same rules as everything else. Less is more, you can always add more. The biggest thing to remember about soldering is to make sure you have touched the pad. Yeah, you're gonna be basically pressing. I know it's a little hard to see and this is not like, you know, we'll do like something like this. Uh, even so, this is still pretty hard to see. You wanna just make sure, like we'll look at this one here. We'll do this when you're when you're doing this you want to make sure that press up the soldering iron to the leg and push down so it's making contact with the pad you're gonna push the solder to the side push it in let it sit for a second it makes your pyramid it all can be done in like two to three seconds once you get really proficient at it That's basically the rule of thumb that I use.
There's other color badges. Aw, oh, damn it. I didn't even realize these were here. Oh. Dude, there's actually a lot of them. They sent me, like, every color. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Hold on. Ooh, look at this pink one. I'm trying to align them all. Oh, I just dropped one. Okay, doesn't matter. Look. Ooh, the purple's nice. I think this is probably like also indicative of what's gonna be inside. That's all the colors I have, by the way. And there's another color. Wait. Oh, uh, don't tell me this is like a nice color. Oh, it's another. Oh, this is a gold one. So this is an actual gold one now, not a rose gold. Oh, this is much better quality. Oh, that would have been nice at the bottom. Okay, that's kind of cool. The purple's nice. Okay, I don't know how to get it to RGB. Oh, and the sides too. Oh. I know, we can't see the underglow. It's pointless to have underglow on it. Like the under, literally the underside. Function, but which one's function? I don't think I have a function. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Got it, boys. Oh. Oh, dude, that looks like it's floating. Oh, wow. That is actually really fucking pretty. Holy. In the dark? Oh, guys, can make me fall down. Show you guys a bit in the dark. I'm not going to turn off the other light. There's the side. I think the back lights up too. Oh wow, actually that's really nice. Turn back on my light. Wow, actually this is really tasteful. I think that's actually really cool. This has RGB over here, as you guys can see. Oh, sound test time? Is a sound test time?
What do we think? Can I weigh it? I don't have a weigh weighing thing. Dude, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna lie. I think of all the space, or in space, the Gray Studios board so far, this might be the best one, to be honest with you guys. This might be the best Gray Studios board so far. With the exception of the PCB that needs to be fixed for the stab holes, that is not acceptable. The gaskets do a good job. I think this is way better than the Space 65. Please show the RGB again. I think this is way better than the Space 65. The Think 6.5 was good, but I feel like this is better. I feel like this overall had a better implementation of everything. This feels a lot better. I think the the cutouts for the um, plate was a lot better on this. Not on noble pricing. However, please keep in mind with the current state of Gray Studios and the Think 6.5s, do your do own due diligence and whether or not you want to purchase with them. They are a little bit behind in Think 6.5s. USB-C is showing. Let's see. It might just be me pulling it out. So yeah, it looks like the USB-C does show a bit. So it's not fully hidden. So if that's a deterrent for you guys too. For me, that's not a big deal. I would have liked to see that change. Maybe an inclusion of a daughter board. Oh, thank but you. But that's dude. fine. Senpai, thank you so much for your prime. So I would have liked to see flush. This little tab over here is kind of cool. It kind of catches some of the RGB too. Cool back though. I wish they did a daughter. I usually wish people did a daughter board. But yeah, you can see this is RGB over here too. So this kind of sticks out and manages to catch some of that RGB. With how cheap daughter boards are, I feel premium boards should have them. Plus, I just feel like it's easier to implement your USB-C because you don't have to worry about it flexing and stuff too. Cool little tab up here too. Yeah, I like this. Guys, I think this is honestly really nice. Again, big issue. I think, I don't think this, this cutout over here for this, this switch, I think it got caught on something. So I'm gonna have to go back in and desolder this, maybe try a different switch. But yeah, this is a weird cutout for this over here. Again, it's from that ISO compatibility here too. I don't know if it just situated weird. We'll figure that, I'll figure that out with you guys. So the stab cutouts though need to be fixed. The stab hole cutouts need to be fixed. Typing feels awesome. Super, it's super nice. It, I wouldn't say it's exactly like, you know, Salvation or Jelly Soft or Bouncy or Flexy, but it isn't a hard typing experience at all. There's no feedback from the rest of the case. I'd say this is absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, wow, that looks really good. That's cool. 